first said 12 months ago that we were going to have a new stadium. And in those 12 months, we've managed to come up with um, a couple of pictures. That's uh, Jan Magritsky from the Sky Blues Trust talking to me about an hour ago, telling me he's not really all that impressed with the artist's impression, which has just been released by the club, of the new ground that they're aiming to build at the Coventry Arena. The club's revealed the architects... Uh, the Coventry area, I should say, sorry. The, the club's revealed the architects uh, it's hired to work on the scheme have now produced initial plans... Uh, and you can see them on our Facebook site. Just go to Facebook and type in BBC Coventry in Warwickshire. The new stadium would have a capacity initially of 12,500 uh, 12 seats, uh, but could eventually be increased to 23,000. Uh, but Jan Magritsky uh, told me that lots of questions still need to be answered. It still doesn't answer the real questions. You know, like you say, where will it be built? You know, has any land been purchased? Planning permission applied for? How long is it all going to take? Yeah. How much extra debt is the club going to be saddled with to pay for this stadium? You know, where are we going to play in the in the intervening time? What's going to happen to the support in that intervening time? You know, what you know, what extra debt will be sat, you know the club saddled with because we're not playing in Coventry? Um, is all that debt going to be covered by the club and loans from Arvo? You know, what sort of interest are we going to be paying on those loans? You know, there's, there's so many questions to be asked before people start believing it, to be honest. There are. We're going to try and get through some of those now. Let's talk to uh, Mark Labovich, who's non-executive director at the club, joins me live in the studio. Mark, great to see you in the flesh. Thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, why aren't you saying where it's going to be built? Wouldn't that be more important? Fans are saying they want to know where rather than what. No, absolutely. I can understand why they want to know where rather, rather than what. Uh, we're negotiating on the purchase of two sites. It would be suicidal commercially to uh, to reveal any details of those. Uh, we want to get the best deal. It's narrowed down to two sites. Uh, you know, you can't have all our eggs in one basket, even at this stage. But I, you know, I'm conscious that we, we have to get this done as quickly as possible. We've, I mean, I'm afraid we've wasted a lot of time, hopefully, that hopeful that the council would actually sell the RICO to us, and we could have moved very, very quickly on that. Uh, they obviously won't. Uh, they changed their mind about that uh, pretty smartly. So, w wouldn't wouldn't one location just just take you back a second there? Mm. Wouldn't one location knowing about the other would get that would get you a better price, wouldn't it? If if you, if you said to me, oh, I I want to buy this, but I'm also talking to somebody else, wouldn't I be keener to do you a better deal? No, well, the, better the vendors of the sites know exactly what the position is. That they you know they're not the only show in town, uh, and we will get the best deal. But the main thing is, Shane, we've got to, we've got to be quick about this. Um, you know, we don't want to be at Six Fields forever. We want to be back in Coventry, uh, or as near to Coventry as Dammit. And uh, so what we're doing is, I, know, I mean, I know it's frustrating waiting. It's, it's, you know, very frustrating for us, and we're spending real money on preparing this. Uh, we want to, we, instead of doing everything sequentially, find the site, negotiate the site, buy the site, apply for planning permission, then get the architects involved, we're trying to do as much as we can ahead of the game so uh, in terms of planning permission there are two local authorities involved we're doing economic impact assessments so we can show them the benefits we'll bring to the area all the things that will go into the mix to get planning are being done in advance can you say which authorities they are would you, of course would i you? can't well, you can't, can't even tell me the rough geographical area. I mean, if you said Warwickshire, for example, I mean, it's a huge area. That's not going to be all I, all I can out say the bag, is, is it? Uh, come on, Shane. You know we can't do that. We can't jeopardise the, 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 the deals that we're trying to nail down now. They are going. You know, they're going to be very, very near to Coventry. All right. Let me ask you another question. There is one in Coventry. Are you talking to Coventry City Council at all? Uh, Funnily aside. enough, no, we're not. So it's not going to be in Coventry City no, Council's listen, area? No, you, you know, you know, you, you know the, the geography here better than I do. Uh, Coventry has a very tight boundary, so you can be extremely close to the city, but outside the jurisdiction of Coventry City Council. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, the, the, the for, for Highfield Road regulars, the Rico seemed a long way away. OK. Uh, what are you hoping to achieve from today's um release then if, if you you know fans have reacted i mean quite angrily i think on the whole is that it's fair to say the reaction that we've had this morning some of with a little bit of humor uh, which is always nice to see that people yeah. don't lose their sense of humor in these adverse times but i mean what are you trying to what are you hoping to achieve is it, it from a fan's what are you giving them what, what's the point and the point is, as much information as you can possibly release, we are releasing. Now, we've been paying good money to the architects. This, this isn't information, and, and is it? This is, this, is, this is just arbitrary. This is, this is not, it's not... You've not released plans. You've released an artist's impression. 
Well, I mean, plans will be coming when plans are done, but I think the whole point is we want fans to have as much input into the design as possible. So Sandra Garlick has formed a committee, uh, a forum, to have fans represented on that that will work alongside so the architects. Are as a, these are as a result, then, are they, of fans getting involved? And this is, these are fans' designs, are they, then, you're talking about? Uh, no, these, this is an architect's impression of basically what they, what they would like to do, but that will change as fans' input gets through, through the, uh, the stadium forum that Sandra is running. So is that cart before the horse seems to me wouldn't, wouldn't you say to the fans first of all what would you give us an idea of what you'd like to see and then feed that to the architects and then they do an artist impression don't they well, it's going to evolve, Shane. I mean, I don't think you can ask fans to submit, uh, you know, uh, an artist's impression based on architectural designs. You, obviously, the, you start the process. The, so the first lump of clay you stick on the potter's wheel, as it were, is going to be the first cut uh, uh, picture from the architects. But as the, as the, as the design... Uh, process moves on the fans will be in regular contact with the architects giving their input it's for the fans it's the club's home it's their stadium and we want the look and feel of the stadium to be decided by the fans and that's what sandra's committee is all about and I, I think she's been flooded with with applications of people wanting to join it there's also and i'm, I'm not disputing that but there's also a lot of cynicism about this morning mark and, and a lot of people are saying and to paraphrase what a lot of people have said and they've said it individually and independently some on the t uh, some on the twitter some on the text as well but they're saying yeah okay fine there's a couple of drawings being released today they will believe it when they see it. when the diggers turn up at a piece of land and start building that's when they'll believe it have you got a credibility issue that you need to deal with with fans do you think do you recognize that at all or not? I, I absolutely recognize it until they see jcb's chugging all over a site that we've bought uh y you know I I'm, I'm not expecting anyone uh to, to to believe you know to believe the pudding till they're eating it but i am told that people were very very skeptical that the rico was going to happen and it wasn't even the jcbs chugging all over the, the old fossil gas works it was only when great pieces of structural steel were sticking out of the ground that the, the last of the skeptics finally believed a stadium was going to be built so look it's you know it's not going to hold the process up if people are skeptical I mean, and if anything it's you know it, it's uh, a wake-up call to really to, to really get cracking with it which is what we're doing if you wanted to release information rather than, than artist impressions or something a, a, a little bit more, uh, should we say, artistic, and you want to release information to the fans, why don't you release things like how you're going to fund this? And, and you know, we, we heard uh, Jan there talking about how this is going to be funded, how the debt is going to be structured, what's going to happen in terms of uh, how you're going to actually provide the funds to build this stadium. Would, would that be more useful to fans, do you think, than artist impression at this Yeah, I, d I don't think it's a very contentious or complex issue. It's going to be like any, like any property development. It's going to be a mixture of equity and debt. We had to show the Football League that we had the funds to do it, uh, you know, and they check those figures very, very carefully. And I, you know, I have no problem at all with meeting fans who, you know, want to take want to take a more detailed interest in the financing of it. I mean, I I couldn't couldn't help suppressing a, 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 a sort of wry chuckle when Jan was was uh, getting very, very you know very concerned about uh, the club being saddled with debt. The, you know, the property itself will carry its own debt. Uh, I think you know the stadium that is saddled with a huge uh, amount of debt that is really unsustainable is the Rico. And I think, you know, if if you want to scrutinise, uh, you know, the financial structure of a stadium owner, you should look at ACL and, you know, in Coventry, that, I'm afraid that's your money.